from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors shows you how to make your hunting memories even better with the help of the latest and innovative products available in the market. The new 10-point crossbow NXT series, the most accurate and highest performing crossbows that 10-point has ever built. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center 44 Mag Stealth Hunter, one of the most sought after handguns in the hunting world. But first, Garmin just rolled out the new bow sight that will revolutionize the way you hunt with your bow forever. Innovation is a word that you, you know, a lot of people toss around very easily. The new model, a new souped up whatever, a new detergent that's got some fancy little crystal in there, whatever it may be, everybody's always talking about innovation. But honestly, we all know there's very few things that are truly game changing, that truly evolve a sport or an application or an entity or, or any type of services out there. But every now and then you come across something that is, it's like that. It, it to totally changes the game. The totally changes the dynamic, raises the bar. Garmin is a leader in doing a lot of that. And I've been fortunate for many, many years to be associated with them. Seen some incredible cutting edge technological changes in fishing sonar and how we can look at live pan optics out there and the way our sonar and mapping and how fast it works, and how it coordinates and does all that. But about three, three and a half years ago, I was in a meeting at that SHOT Show and a guy brought up this concept and he, he said, what if we could do this? What do you think? I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, I don't know how you're gonna do it, but if you could do it, my comment was to him, it would be revolutionary. Well, they did it. It's called the Zero. It's a bow sight. It's not a scope. You're not actually magnifying anything. You're not sending a light down range, illuminating a target, but it's a bow sight that I'm telling you right now, it will change the game. I mean, if you're sitting here right now, and I can tell you as an archer, whether you're a target shooter or a hunter, would you rather have a new bow? Or would you rather have something on your existing bow that calibrates and works in conjunction with your existing bow that's gonna make you more accurate? I think everybody would say, I'm gonna put that side on there and go with it. And when we get a new product in, we're like little kids. I mean, Santa Claus has shown up at the door with a box. It was time to put it together. We had the very first zero in our hands that was out there. We were gonna get a test to, to test it right here on the range. We were gonna get a chance to shoot it, dial it in, calibrate it to my bow. In a lot of ways, it's a similar sight picture than what you're gonna have as far as shape of a traditional you know, site, whether it's one pin or five pins or six pins, there's a circle there. There's a box on the side of it that's a little bit different, but inside that box is magic as far as I'm concerned. You've got a laser range finder right there that tells you immediately through the push of a button how far away your target is. Think about this at your fingertip. Push that button, it tells you exactly how far you're away. Now let me ask you this question here. If you could push that button and, and it says it's 26 yards and you let it off and all of a sudden a pin pops up that's calibrated to you to shoot at 26 yards, would you not think that's magic? Would you not think that's the most coolest thing if you're an archer or a bow hunter that you've ever seen to be able to range find it, let it go, and bam, there it is. Now you have to spend the time practicing beforehand. You've got to be a capable archer. This isn't going to overcome your bad form, bad technique, bad hunting styles and everything. It's just going to put you exactly where you need to be aiming. It's going to give you a spot exactly where to shoot. It's calibrated because you practiced with it. You've gone through the steps to calibrate this boat to your speed and the distances that you're shooting. So it, it I mean, it's educating itself on you. Got it, shot it, got it zeroed in, got all the little details worked on, had enough confidence within a couple of hours of working with it that I was ready to go to stand right then. I wanted to go right away. Coming up, it's time to put Garmin Zero to the test in real hunting conditions. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin? 
at a 15 degree angle with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. And by Yamaha ATV, real world tough. Hey, welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Wade Middleton is up early and eager to go out and play with his new toy, the Garmin Zero Bow Sight. So we spent some time yesterday working on it, getting sighted in, learning more about the product, talking to the engineers. This is, this is a prototype. This is basically being released in 2018. Some of you, you know, it's, it's already on the market when some of you will be watching this show and, and others are just learning about it right now. So as we're getting ready to go out right now, the conditions are pretty obvious. We've got a big full moon behind me. It's kind of still not the best bow hunting conditions in the world, but when you've got a new product like this, you want to get up on the stand and try it out. We're gonna ease on down in the Wolverine a little bit further. We're gonna park, we've got a hike in a pretty good distance, climb up in this big oak tree and wait it out and see what happens. You don't have all the other times of trying to range. I mean, you just push the button. Well, what happens when you push this little button, you've ranged it, it automatically puts you a pin out there for your 26 yards distance based on how you've calibrated it personally. So you go spend time on the range, you set this thing up, there's no guessing. It knows your bow speed, it calibrates it all electronically. And I mean, you just, aim at the spot, you know, and in that case right there, I actually had checked that gap right there because we'd seen deer cross through there before. I mean, I've hunted this stand before, and when he turned and come out across there, I just said, psh, I put it right on him, pop, a little red dot pops up, and then you aim that red dot where you want your arrow to go, and as long as you don't mess up, and I mean, there's still a human factor. You still have to practice. You still have to get out there and do all the ethical things, but I mean, it puts a dot for you right there. There's the little button right there. It's constantly scanning. I mean, we can go out there and just, you know, check different, look at that. Everywhere I go, it's changing the distance, but it's hitting leaves and stuff out there. That's just cool. I think he's dead right there. I think he's dead. <laughs> I mean, that looked perfect, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> While we were in the stand, we, we heard a tremendous crash right down in this, this valley here. It looks like to me the way that arrow went in. We didn't get a lot of penetration and we haven't found a lot of blood up there. So we're just gonna kind of skirt down this valley where we you know, found the running tracks and, and just work our way that direction because if he's 
to happen what we think it is. He's going to be right where we heard that crash, you know. I've always got a two-hour rule. It's just kind of what we've developed over the time, even when we're pretty supremely confident, because usually when we make a mistake, we try to track a deer too early. You, yeah, buddy! Right there, <laughs> piled up. I mean, that's what we heard. That's what we heard. I mean, that's the stand right there. He came running down that hill and he just crashed right here. God. <laughs> Look at this buck. Look at this buck. Oh, man. That's a great 12 point right there. Look at all of that. Oh, man. That is the most agonizing time if you're a bow hunter ever, is after you take a shot. You know, waiting to get your hands on them, you always get nervous. I mean, I've done it so many times, but I'm always nervous. Even if I know I just center punched the heart, you know, on that deer there, I could see the arrow. I didn't feel like I got great penetration. Shot hit exactly where I was aiming, 26 yards. Mainframe six by sixes or something, they're just always enamored me. You just don't see a lot of them. And this is a perfect mainframe six here. Each side for a total of 12. You know, he didn't go probably 12 total. I mean, probably 100 yards from where I got him right there. Yeah, that's a great hunt right there. I mean, what a 12 point. You know, first time ever out field testing the new Garmin bow sight. And as advertised, I mean, we spent probably about two hours yesterday learning and practicing. I mean, I mean, we had no experience with it. There were several of us in camp. We had Michael and Clark out learning and <laughs> playing with it. And, going through the paces and then once we got it dialed in you could just see the confidence getting higher and higher and I, I wanted to see if this was what I thought it was going to be. It's that and more. You can find out more in-depth information about the Garmin Zero Bow Sight on Garmin.com. Up next, Yamaha's Steve Nessel is back at Deer Camp for handgun hunting with the Performance Center 44 Magnum Stealth Hunter. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10-point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow 6 inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10-point. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, Proven, Bradley Smoker, Food Smoking Made Easy, and by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson, performance when it matters most. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. When Yamaha's Steve Nessel met with Smith & Wesson Performance Center Stealth Hunter last year at Deer Camp, he was a little hesitant. Bigger gun, higher caliber. Obviously for a reason you need that kind of uh, knockdown power from a, a handgun if you're gonna go chase big game with it. So getting my feet wet, getting some time spent at the range, it, it quickly became 
evident to me that I was leery for no reason. Um, there's not near as much kick as you, as you might think. And it just became about getting repetition, right? Uh, not necessarily muscle memory, but just the process. Just to, for me, routine and technique became important um, as far as growing your comfort level. So the hunting conditions aren't good. They're just, they're really horrible, actually. Um, the deer just weren't cooperating. And you can't blame them, it was, it was super hot during the day. So by the time they're up and moving, it's almost dark and you can't shoot. And they're up all night because it's cooler and they've got access to all their groceries and the, the moon's out and they can see. Sweat, sweat and sweat and sweat. And for an hour, hour and a half, all we can really do is just suffer in silence because we didn't want open windows. We don't want to get you know light passing through. And then finally a deer walks in. First deer out, walked right out, looked right at me. Just like into my soul, like I know you're there. And I was, I was crushed to be honest with you. I'm like, oh, oh we're done. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna blow, stomp, run around, tell every deer in the area we're there and don't come in tonight. But uh, he, he settled down. Second deer out, small eight point, probably two and a half year old, looked right at us. But um, they settled in, they got comfortable. They were at ease after a while. You could tell that they knew we were new, but didn't see us really as a threat. We probably only had about 15, 20 minutes of shooting light left when the eight point I talked about, the three and a half deer that's gonna be nice, stood straight up, looked up, away from us, all the way at the end of the field, and I knew something was coming in. When I first saw the deer, the, 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 I mean, I could tell he's, he was our deer. Um, you could see his rack. But what struck me was two things. How old he looked, just through the binoculars with his face and just the colors of his face, and how flipping big he was. Just a monster compared to everything else in that field. Uh, again, he's, he's been gone for a while, and, and he's, you know, even from the first time Wade saw him, Wade thought he was mature. Wanted to let him live a little while, but it's been about four years since that happened. And, so the gun's up, the deer is quartering quite a bit away. There's some deer in the front, but it's, it's about time where he could move, they could move, and, and then I could have what I needed for a shot. So I, I cocked the gun. I know you say this thing is yours, <laughs> but this thing is mine. <laughs> oh my God, what a great shot, Steve. <laughs> I love this thing. I like him a lot. I like to say that I built up to him because I took a doe, but there's no building up to that with any weapon, much less a handgun like this 44 Smith & Wesson at about 22, 23 yards. Look at just how thick and full of character this guy is. You could talk for days about all the, the different things that are going on with his rack. Uh, the palmation and, and the blading of the, of the main beams and some of his, of his G2s and 3s. He's got a little like tip on one of the top of his tines that mushrooms out. It is just a cool deal. He's, he, he comes, I think, less than two inches from touching in the front. He just comes all the way around. It's just so cool. Again, you could talk about it forever. You could sit there and stare at it forever, and I will stare at it literally forever. I mean, he's a deer of a lifetime. He really is. So we, we use the three-seat Viking on this hunt. I mean, we've got the, the Yamaha ATVs and ETVs out here for a reason. It's not just for show. They are put them to work, and we, we beat up the cargo bed a little bit because we put an animal that had been shot in the back of it, but that vehicle takes a beating all year long, and that's why we build it. So the Viking that night, he, it, was, it was our hero, and, I, and the reason I bring that up is, oh my goodness, how big is this deer? We got the Viking through and luckily backed it right up to this deer, because to have to drag this deer or move this deer would have been brutal on us old guys. Viking to the rescue. Doesn't matter what you're hauling, where you're going, it'll get you there, get you back. If you're lucky enough, like I was on this trip, you can come back with a, just a ridiculously big, cool deer. 
Be sure to look for the full hunting story on this great buck on an upcoming episode of Yamaha's Whitetail Diaries. Well, coming up, the new 2018 10-point crossbow that'll blow your mind. Stay tuned. Protect it or lose it. 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 Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you gonna see more game, but the game's gonna benefit from you placing it out. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by StealthCam. Proven. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by High Viz. See what you've been missing. Conquest Sense, hunting and dog training sense, and by 10 Point Crossbow Technologies. Perfection lives here. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. At SHOT Show 2018 in Las Vegas, 10 Point unveiled the NXT series, its new line of crossbows, the perfect combination of width, speed, and accuracy. I've got the new Stealth NXT in front of me. As you can see, this bow is incredibly compact. When it's cocked, axle to axle is only six inches wide. The bow shoots 410 feet a second, so it's very, very fast. Obviously very narrow and compact as well. This bow also has the Vector Quad cable system. We've got four separate cables that anchor from the riser around the turnbuckle and anchor to the top and the bottom of the wheel. That lets us get really fine tune any wheel lean out of this system. Um, as you'll notice as well, this bow has the Rangemaster scope on it, the retention brush that helps reduce noise. You've also got an adjustable comb, adjustable butt plate, and this Stealth comes with a, several different cocking mechanisms. This particular unit is the new AccuDraw 50 sled. It's basically a built-in rope cocker with a sled unit. 
as these bows get narrower and narrower, the string angle is so harsh that you can't use the separate rope cocker, so you have to use a sled type cocking mechanism. And this new AccuDraw 50 sled really answers the, uh, answers the problem to that. Uh, but again, Stealth NXT, 410 feet a second, very compact, very fast, very quiet to shoot. Ten Point also released Shadow NXT, which has the same technology, compact design, and accuracy. So let's take a look at both Stealth and Shadow NXTs now, out on a hunt, and see how they perform in the field. I got him. I got him. Oh. Here he is. Crossbow Tom Turkey. That was incredible. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I wish I had a hundred dollar bill, but this is about what I carry. Six inches on a dollar bill. He's a good thick beard. Every day, nine inch, nine inch beard. I am very happy for my first bird. We had a successful hunt, and now we're gonna have a phenomenal dinner. Now let's join Wade Middleton hunting with a 10 point Shadow NXT and see how it works on a hog. That's what I'm talking about. That's some dead accuracy right there. Dropped him right in his tracks. This is the new Tim Poise Shadow NXT. I mean, you're talking about compact, easy to use. We've got a pig problem, and I like to shoot him with a 10 point. Well, that's a wrap for Americana Outdoors this week. Now remember, you can always keep up with Americana Outdoors on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch, that smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All high vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high vis. See what you've been missing. Mummies is the leader when it comes to wildlife management products in Texas. With four store locations around San Antonio and the ability to deliver feed all across the state, from bulk deer feed deliveries to feeders and blinds, they have all your wildlife management needs covered. They are the largest Purina Antler Max dealer in the nation, so deer nutrition is their specialty. Call today to discuss your nutritional program. Visit them on the web for more information. When it comes to wildlife needs, Mummies is the leader. From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now.
Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. Mm-hmm.